Hello there, my name's Carlo and welcome to a very uh, another quick video. Um, this is based around um, graphics cards uh, for the uh, Mac Pro. Now, <coughs> when I talk about sort of Mac Pro, I'm talking about the Mac Pro family in general, um, all the way up to, sorry, the uh, late 2010, 12 core Mac Pro. Now, um, I had a bit of bad luck the other day. Uh, my 5770 that was actually in the machine um, started um, uh, getting some problems. Um, there was a lot of screen tear, um, programs weren't functioning um, as they should be. Um, and I thought to myself, well, it's time to get another graphics card. But obviously, you know, graphics cards out there are quite expensive, especially uh, uh, for the Mac Pro. Um, well, not for the Mac Pro in general, but the, I started thinking to myself, right, I need to do some research on this. So um, this has sort of angered me in, 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 in many points because there's loads of forums um, out there saying that, for instance, the 50, 5770, the PC version will not work in the Mac Pro, okay? Um, we're talking 1.1, 2.1, um, all the way up to the 12 core 2000, late 2010 model, um, which is absolutely a lot of crap. Now, this is a clear up video um, for me, really, because I was going through these forums and it was giving me such, such the hump because there was people ask, um, answering questions to people's queries within these forums that were totally wrong, you know? And I know this because, you know, I've been through tests and stuff like that with my Mac Pro. Um, I thought to myself, right, I'm gonna, you know, do a little bit of a test and see how many graphics cards that I've got, which is quite a lot, I can put in my Mac Pro to see that will work straight away. Um, so, and these were for low end cards, um, all the way up to sort of half decent cards. Now, I ended up getting another 5770. I went on the um, Apple website and the 5770, the Mac edition, um, is still going for about 200 odd quid. And I thought to myself, sod that, I'm not paying 200 odd quid for a card that's only gonna be temporary. So, um, I've got a PC version, which is this one here. So it's the ASUS version of the 5770. It's actually inside the machine at the moment. Um, if you look in the bottom corner, I've got a little bit of video just here, uh, should be just here, showing that it's actually on the Mac Pro, but it's actually registering it as a 5000 series, but it is actually the 5770 that's in the actual uh, uh, Mac Pro, and it's working absolutely fine. Um, typical sort of scenario, you do lose the boot screen, um, but you know, a lot of us know that already, you know, if we put a PC card um, into a Mac Pro, it will probably work. Um, but you would lose the, um, the, the the boot up logo, the Apple logo. Now there is a way around that, which I'll come to you in a second. But you know, I'm more angry with forums out there that are absolutely talking out of their ass, um, basically saying no. I, I mean, I went to one, one forum. What did the guy say? Uh, a guy asked, "I want to get a, um, um, uh, a new graphics card for my Mac Pro. Um, I don't want to spend the 200 odd quid on a Apple version of the 5770. Can I buy a PC one?" will that work in the Mac Pro? And this guy's response was absolutely not. Now, to me, that's a guy answering a question when he don't know sod on what he's talking about, which gives me the actual hump. Now, all five series ATI graphics cards um, will work in your Mac Pro. That's 100%, I've tested out six, okay? Um, Nvidia, near enough, every single Nvidia card will work within your Mac Pro from 1.1 onwards. But you have to be running line 10.7.5 and up. Anything below that, you'll have problems with installing the card. Um, but you know, if you've got a Mac Pro, you know you obviously go, you're, you're obviously running 10.7.5 or above. Um, that's whether you've got 1.1 or 2.1, which is eight core, 12 core, whatever. So basically, um, this is um, a clear up um, for you guys that are not sure um, what card to get for your uh, Mac Pro, whether it's a 1.1, a uh, 2.1 or 3.1 or onwards, and think to yourself, if I spend this sort of money on a card, like 100 quid or 150, 200, whatever, or say an ATI card or an Nvidia card, will it work in my Mac Pro? Yeah, it will, most of them will. As long as it's PCI times 16 um, uh, 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 connections on it, it will work. Most of the time you will lose the boot screen, but that's about it. Now there is a way around it, which I'll show you in a minute, um, but also, there's a lot of cards out there, um, we're talking power consumption here, okay? Now, the graphics slot on the Mac Pro um, only supports 300 watt 
um, 300 watts worth of power for your graphics card. Um, but there's a way around that. Now, obviously there's two slots in, in, in the Mac Pro, uh, two power cables that you can actually use with the Mac Pro to go into your graphics card. That's if your graphics card requires two power supplies. Now, obviously that part of the board only supports 300 watts um, combined with them two uh, connections. But there's a way around that. If you go into the back of your optical drive and you're using your DVD drive, take out the connection um, for your DVD and there's two power cables, Molex. So all you would have to do is plug the Molex in, both of them, for two drives, and plug that into your graphics card. Now that will give you another 300 watts because the second part of the PCI slots generates, um, allows you to put up to 300 watts worth of uh, 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 consumables, you know, electronics within the system. So in total between that, them two, you've got 600 watts. So you can go to a maximum of 600 watts within that. Um, so what I'll do is, um, I'll just explain and I'll, and I'll show you exactly what's going on here. Um, I've put this card in, I've lost the boot screen on it, but there is a way of getting your boot screen back. If you use your DVI on the back of your graphics card and run it into the VGA of your monitor, you'll get your boot screen back. Um, and that's, I've tried that with this card as well and I've got my boot screen back straight away. When I run it to DVI to DVI, then I've lost, I lose the boot, uh, lose the boot, boot uh, sorry, the boot screen. So yeah, I thought I'd quickly do this video, <coughs> sorry about that guys. Um, uh, memory run out again because I'm only using um, to do my videos at the moment a Fujifilm uh, digital camera uh, which does, does uh, do 1080p uh, videos but because my memory card is only I think it's about 8 gig um, I can only get about 10 minutes worth of uh, footage recorded at a time so I have to keep uh, wiping my card I am going to upgrade to a better uh, camera trust in the future um, but I'm just on the lookout for uh, for what I basically want so anyway getting back to what I was saying um, yeah, so if you connect your uh, DVI, get a DVI adapter to VGA and then run a VGA cable straight into your monitor, you should get your boot screen back. Um, that's on most cards um, anyway. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it's been sort of really frustrating and there's no videos out there basically saying to people, you know, what sort of graphics cards you can run on your Mac Pro, you know. Um, there's a lot of forums out there, but these people don't know Jack because they're only going on what other people say. So, for instance, a guy would read 5770, you know, uh, PC version will not run on a Mac Pro. The rumor gets spread, and then you're sitting there thinking, so, oh, crap, you know, I'm limited to an Apple card. This is not true. This is absolutely not true. I've had countless amounts of cards tested in this Mac Pro, just for fun, and just for my own peace of mind. And every single card um, that I've actually put in this Mac Pro has worked. Um, most of them, if not all of them, that are PC based, um, I have lost the boot screen. Okay, so that's the only side effect. So if you're one running sort of boot camp, um, there is a program you can download, and I'll do a separate video on that. It's called Boot Champ. So if you go Google Boot Champ, that's spelled B O O T, and then Champ, as in boxing champ. Um, go to that website, download it, and what that does, that gives you an icon on the top of your um, on, on, on your screen um, at the top. And then when, say for instance, you're in the Mac, you can right click on it, it'll have a Windows logo, and you can boot straight to uh, Windows. But then when you restart the Mac, it'll automatically start to the OS X uh, of the operating system. So there's a way around that as well. There's always a way. So yeah, um, I'm currently, like I just said, running the ASUS um, in this machine. Um, this version is actually a lot better than the 5770, the standard version. Um, it's actually the best version of the 5770 that you can actually get um, because it's got all the voltage uh, tweaks, it, especially if you're running Windows, which I am. Um, it's got the uh, CU core clocks as well on it. That runs on 5.8 um, ounce uh, on a 5.8 uh, uh, sort of ounce copper rod. So it's got excellent cooling on it as well. So. Um, what have we sort of figured out with this video? One, you can run most cards on, in the Mac Pro. As long as your operating system is running 10.7.5 up, you'll be absolutely fine. These people on these forums are just speculating and it gives me the hump, okay? There's a very short list um, on there, on one of the sites that basically says you can run the, I think it's the ATI X1900 and a few hundred uh, cards that were developed for Apple for the Mac Pro, which is about four or five, maybe six tops, um, that will work in the Mac Pro.
but I've done serious amounts of research. I've plugged in serious amounts of cards. Every card um, on my channel that you see that is running games on it, um, like the GT uh, 634 gigabyte, um, all them cards I've had in the Mac Pro, I've put in for testing, and they all fire up absolutely fine. So yeah, don't worry. Um, you know, don't be too scared to um, test these cards out because I guarantee you, 99% of them will work absolutely fine. Um, obviously, if you get an AGP card, it's not going to work because obviously it's, it needs an AGP socket. But obviously, you guys out there ain't stupid. You know the difference between PCI and AGP. If you don't, then just stay. Don't have a Mac Pro <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, uh, five series ATI, they all work. 98% of Radeon cards, uh, sorry, uh, NVIDIA cards will work in a Mac Pro. That is talking 1.1, 2.1, 3.1, they all work. Uh, most of them you will, yes, lose the boot screen, but all you have to do is channel DVI to VGA, and that's the sacrifice you make, so you might lose a bit of resolution, not a lot, um, and then plug that straight in, and then you will get your boot screen back. Um, I'll put a little picture at the side of uh, what this card actually looks like. Um, I was going to actually show you the inside of the Mac Pro, uh, but I thought, you know, we've all seen the inside of the Mac Pro, it's getting boring now, do you know what I mean? There's so many videos out there of what it looks like inside. Um, I will put another uh, a picture of the actual card in the Mac Pro, um, uh, the, the, just, just from the uh, About This Mac uh, uh, system um, information uh, sheet. Um, but yeah, I mean, thanks for watching guys, um, I think it is a um, necessary video to do because there's no videos out there about graphics cards and Mac Pros, so that's why basically I've done it, um, to give you guys a peace of mind, if you want to go and buy a graphics card, I've been the one to sit here, like a Waddy Brain, popping in graphics cards, firing it up, you know, like I said, I've tested probably about 20, 30 graphics cards within this Mac Pro. This is a 12 core Mac Pro. Um, but my friend has a 1.1 Mac Pro, and we have actually tested all these cards out um, on his Mac Pro as well uh, for fun. Um, I sh should have done a video on it, but obviously, you know, this was sort of, sort of research purposes. Um, so I could actually come to you guys and say, look, you know, this is the deal. Um, this is actually what's going on. Every single one of these cards that I've tried in the uh, uh, the, free, the the 12 core Mac Pro has worked in the 1.1 Mac Pro as well. So we're looking at the GT 640, the 630. We're looking at the 3, 3870 graphics card by ATI. We're looking um, so many graphics cards. Um, I've had a Quadro uh, FX uh, 4600, which is PC only, uh, running in it. CUDA's running fine. Um, CUDA cores absolutely fine, OpenGL absolutely running fine, you don't have to get the Mac version of these cards.